In the previous video session of LaTeX, we saw how to create different sections, subsections or sub subsections. Okay. In this session, we are going to see how to create a document title and also an index for the document like the ta formal table of contents for a huge document. Okay. So, let us first create an empty file in LaTeX. The first line for now is going to be the document class with definition of article type right then we define the begin and end document tag with which we are going to work okay now let us start typing the content for this document this is for heading and table of contents okay so first let us save this document the previous uh, videos we saw the sectionings and the fonts. So, now this document let us learn it, save it as headings and TOC, table of content. Okay. So, now let us first execute to see how this document looks like. This is going to be a one liner document. Now, I am going to add sections. We know how to do that, right? So, we will say slash section, sorry, and then we are going to give section titles. So, in this case, let us put three sections, say the introduction, the say proposed work that we want to do, finally, the section conclusion. Okay. These three sections are defined. Let us at least create one subsection. So, in this say, it is general for info. Okay, some in title that I am giving. So, let us compile this and see how the document previews. This we have already seen section, subsection and then we have two more sections to go. So, all these are listed. Now, we want to create a title for this document, right? So, in order to do that, you, you will have to put slash, then there is a tag called title and the title of that will be written in this area. So, let us say this is a LaTeX document. Right. So, next what we will do, we need to define the author of this whole paper, especially if it is scientific or formal papers that we submit for journals. So, in this case, we will say author and I am just typing in my name okay. and then we will write in the date. Okay. In the date section, say for example, I am writing 1st October 2020. Okay. Now, first let us compile and see what is happening here first sorry. So, let us execute it and view the output. So, we will not see for now, we have although we have defined the title, the author and the date, we are not seeing anything here. Okay, That is because you need to add a command called make title. Okay, Only after you put this, it will get displayed in the document. All we have now so far used slash title, author, date and all are just the definition values only this command slash make title will make it actually get displayed here. So, let us compile that. Now, you see the difference, right? The heading of the document, the author followed by the date. In some cases, if say for example, today you are doing half the work, you are saving the document and then you are going back later and then reworking on it. So, every day you do not want to come and change the date on it. So, instead of hard coding the date, if I could remove this, and then say slash today, the day on which the document is getting compiled, the date of that particular document gets listed. So, today is 19th October. So, for me that document's date is getting displayed in this format. Okay. How to manipulate, change those formats and all we will see as we proceed higher in more sessions. Okay. For now, we have seen the document heading, the author, the date and we have seen the actual contents. Now, in a formal document running very many pages or even when you are writing books kind of things, you might have to put in an index which we call as table of contents. right? So, in order to put table of contents, there is a line, a single line that you need to use. It says slash table of contents. Okay? Now, let us see when we compile what happens. You see the contents are getting listed in this all the sections, subsections are all getting listed here. 
from here on this is the heading in the table of contents this is the actual document that I have typed here right. So in LaTeX what happens after the table of contents if is there is any space left in that particular page the document gets generated from there. So in order to avoid that you want to push the content of the document in the starting from a fresh page right that is how you start a documentation. So what you will do after table of contents you put a command called slash new page ok. So now if you see the table of contents lies in one page and subsequently the actual contents of the documents starts from the next page ok. So if you see LaTeX this is how it gets generated. So actually I needed to compile it once more because this is the table of contents is page 1 and then the actual document is page 2 ok. So in this fashion you can create a table of contents. The wonder of this is if you do it in a word document say for example if I am going to change the orders of these sections for some reason or if you are introducing more subsections and you are uh, uh, say the document is getting a lot say for uh, currently your introduction started in the second page and it went on up till fourth page. In the fifth page you started the proposed work. On the later stage if you add some more content to the introduction if your page of the proposed work gets changed in the later stage in word documents you have to manually come in in most cases to re-verify re that your table of contents are correct ok. So in LaTeX since it picks up automatically at the time of run time these documents you do not need to worry about any changes or orderings in sections subsections etc. The page will automatically get picked up here in the table of contents without any issues ok. So that is one of the powerful usage or uh, uh, help that LaTeX actually does to us. So now we have seen the table of contents I will add a small point to that before we close this session. Remember in some documentations in table of contents we also add the list of figures, list of tables, abbreviations, some indexing so keywords etc. So what happens we normally do the page numbering for those documents in Roman numbers and the other the whole proper documents comes in the Arabic style of 1, 2, 3 ok. So here also in LaTeX you can actually manipulate the table of contents by changing the style in which you want the page number to get displayed. In this case it is coming as 2 like this. Now let us see I am putting a command sorry. I am putting a command before the table of contents which is page numbering style ok. So this is slash page numbering within which I will give the style of numbering. If I say Roman now let us see how the page number gets displayed. Sorry I need to compile it again. Now see this is getting displayed in Roman numbers. If you have not given this part let me comment this part. In this case if I compile it, it will come in the standard Arabic format ok. But if you are specific for some reason you want them in the style then you can always give the page numbering style as Roman ok. So with this we will stop this session. In the next session we will see some useful information about coloring your text documents, underlining it etc ok. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.